So when you step into the vault, you're greeted by the sound of chirping birds. To actually turn the vault on, there's a power button. There's no key that you enter. You actually just have to have that inside the vehicle. In order to turn the vehicle on, you push on the brake and you press the power button. There's very little difference once the car's on. All of the um, instruments inside will turn on, but there's really no noticeable difference that the actual vehicle itself is on. So on the main console here behind the steering wheel, you can see to the left, that gives you what your range of electric power is. You can see in this case, we've got a range of 15 miles. For gas, you can see that we have a range of 163 miles. Got the odometer at the bottom right showing the total mileage on the vehicle. Gear selector on the top right. And then on the bottom, you can see we are on B, so that gives the total mileage on the vehicle. The total gasoline used since the vehicle is brand new. So over the course of 61,000 miles, this vehicle has used about 248 gallons and the overall lifetime average has been 246.7 miles per gallon. If we go to the right, this is the remaining oil life. So because there is a gas engine, the oil does have to be changed, um, although not at the usual interview interval of about three to 5,000 miles. Um, because the gas engine isn't used very frequently, um, it, the computer keeps track of when that's due if we go to the right, you can see here, this gives us the pressure in each of the tires. Messages would let you know if there's uh, maintenance due or um, anything of that sort. You can change the units. There's a tutorial to help you through the um, options available on the vehicle. And then here you can see over the last 911 miles, I've used 16.3 gallons of gas and 55.6 miles per gallon. The reason for that is that I took a trip um, from California to Oregon um, with quite a bit of highway mileage, which used the gas engine. Over here in the center console, um, there's quite a few buttons. It's a little overwhelming at first, but it's actually fairly simple um, to use the features on the vehicle. Right now we're in the kind of energy monitoring mode. And you can see here that there's a button for, um, for this screen. So you can control this with the use of the button or you can use the um, touch screen up above. So the, bat the power flow here shows you where the power is coming, on, coming from that's powering the vehicle and where the power is going. So there's um, a few different possible options here. Either power is going from the battery to the generator. It could be going from the re regenerative brakes um, to the battery, so recharging the battery. Um, there's also another option, you can't see it right here, but there is a gas engine that will light up when it's in gas mode. Um, and power from that gas engine could either be going to the generator, or it could be going to the battery, if you're coasting. So there are a few options there. Charging here will let you know if we were to plug in to a 120 volt outlet, which is just your typical um, household outlet, charging would be complete by 6.15 p.m. Right now it's 1 o'clock. With a 240 volt outlet, it'd be done by 245. Energy info here lets you know just kind of your total summary on the current charge. So you can see that since I last charged it, I've driven 14.1 miles on electric, zero miles on gas. There's energy efficiency that lets you know um, how your driving style and climate setting are affecting energy efficiency. And then there's efficiency tips here where it'll actually give you tips on how you can improve your efficiency through driving style or um, climate control. And so these tips here can help you with that. Um, some of the other features, so we've got climate itself. So if you press climate, it brings climate up on the screen and then you've got your touch screen. So you can put it in a comfort mode. Um, I've found that sometimes at really cold temperatures, putting it in comfort mode will activate the gas engine in order to heat the car. Putting it in eco or fan only, um, sometimes it'll be hot air from the battery, other times if it's really cold, it may not be, but it still help defrost the window, and then you can use the heated seats to keep warm.
So it kind of depends on how cold it is, whether or not you might want to push that comfort mode to turn it on. Um, if you can avoid it, it's nice to avoid using the gas and just go with the heated seat. Um, you've just got normal controls here. You can push any of those to change the setting on where the air is going to. Um, there's also an automatic heated seat option you can see here that will automatically turn the heated seats on um, to heat the vehicle or you can turn that off. You can also see here we've got a rear defroster. We've got um, radio. So if we click on that, you've got your FM radio. There's also AM radio and Sirius XM if you just choose to subscribe to that. We've also got heated seat controls here. So you just by tap, tapping that. Over here we've got tone, that's for controlling um, sound settings in the vehicle. And then there's a number of other setting options there. And then we've got controls for the music. Um, so there's also a hard drive in the vehicle here that um, stores music on the vehicle. And so you have that as another music option. And then down below here, we've got seek buttons to go between tracks. Um, we've got play and pause button. We've got a mute if you're talking on the Bluetooth over the phone. Uh, telephone here. Um, and then a few other options. We've got navigation in the vehicle. So if we press navigation, that'll come up on the screen. You can enter an address by clicking on destination. Put in your address or point of interest. Um, and then you've got unlock and lock button. It's got an electronic parking brake, so you just pull on that to activate parking brake and you push in to turn it off. And then we've got drive mode, which if you press that, it brings up here a normal sport and mountain mode. And so you can vary between those. If you're in the normal mode, um, vehicle will drive normal. If you put it in sport, um, it'll change the um, acceleration a little bit, gear ratios. And then if you put it in the mountain mode, that'll activate the gas engine to give you some additional power if needed. Um, it also drains the battery at a higher rate. On the steering wheel here, we've got cruise control settings. So you can activate the cruise control, resume and set, cancel cruise control. Over on this side, we've got controls for the music in the vehicle. So you've got volume settings, and then you can switch between stations. And then um, got, again, the uh, voice activation for several features, including uh, making calls, navigation. So those controls are also there. We've got some controls over here. Those are for controlling the center console when I scroll between options here. Over on this side, we've just got your standard window controls and mirrors. Up above, we've got um, Homelink garage door system and then OnStar and then controls for lights. So overall, fairly uh, straightforward controls throughout the vehicle. In order to um, open the gas tank, see that there's a button down here for the gas tank. It has a compressed tank um, to avoid evaporative loss of gas because um, it's oftentimes not used very frequently. And so that button has to be pushed to decompress the system and then you would push on the door of the gas um, the gas door um, to basically open it up. So you push in on it after you've pushed that button. And then for the electric, you would push this button. So the the gas is located on the right rear portion of the vehicle, and then the electric is located on the front left. So those buttons activate each of those. Um, otherwise, that is about it. Um, you know, basically, you know, it's a it drives like a normal car. There's nothing too unusual about it um, when compared with your standard gasoline vehicle. Of course, minus the fact that it does have the electric generator and battery, um, but GM's done a nice job of basically being able to allow you to avoid um, driving in differently. This vehicle um, is fitted with that optional Bose stereo as well.